I'm back. This is getting cooking with Tilt. Today I got a menu that's gonna blow your mind, and I know you're gonna like it. I know I've been out the picture for a while, but baby, I'm back. Let's do it. Today I'm preparing some seafood dressing, stuffed salmon, and some garlic, bacon, sauteed green beans. So let's get started. Right now, what we're gonna get started with is the seafood dressing. I have here some cornbread that I already baked off and crumbled up. We have 20 ounces of lump crab meat, 8 ounces of chopped up lobster, we have a, the large 30 to 35 count of shrimp that I have already marinated in some crab boil, I have chicken broth, and I have cream of shrimp. We also want to put in some green and yellow bell peppers, celery, green onions, and white onions. Seasoning is going to be all oh, the best. The Tonys, baby. The Tonys, yes. A little bit of salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. So first off, what we're going to do is take the cornbread. We're going to put it in this here mixing bowl. And we're going to combine all our ingredients and get this baked off. Oh, Lord, I'm making a mess, Lord. But that is what we're going to do. If I can get this cornbread out of this pan, yes. Okay. Let me get this off my table here. Like I always say, cleaning this is next to godliness, yes. Can't work around no mess. Can't work around no mess. No, I can't. No, I can't. Go ahead, wash my hands. Touch the old trash. Again, we're just combining the ingredients. What I'm going to do is chop down cornbread a little bit more. And by the way, this is five boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix. And we just follow the instructions on baking regular cornbread. Let it come to a cool. You break it down. And that's what we're going to do. Now with these veggies, mine are raw. I like mine to bake in and bake through. Some people like to saute those. But what I did... I chopped them up finely in my food processor, so they, they're small anyway. So they're going to cook and cook evenly so they won't be, have that big crunch or bite. But if you want to saute them, you can. But for me, no. I'm just going to toss them in here. Now this is two chopped onions. Then I have one yellow bell pepper, one green bell pepper. And then I have, this is probably about five or six diced up um, celery. And I also diced up the leaves as well. They have more flavor in your leaves. So you can do that as well. I also chopped up about five green onions. That's going to go in here as well. Yes. Okay. chicken broth or you can use vegetables broth uh seafood broth but i chose to use the chicken broth today because i also have the cream of shrimp going in here as well so it's all good and everybody been waiting on me to come back i'm back i had some things going on but i sat back i watched all my reviews uh everyone that has subscribed to me i appreciate you greatly for doing so it makes me feel amazing and great um, that you like watching me. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy watching um, my own self on Hopefully Cocky. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to do this here. We're putting in two cans of the uh, chicken broth. One can of the cream of shrimp. I can get it all in now. 
crazy smell good. Okay. You don't want it too dry because it's gonna bake in the oven. So you wanna liquefy it so it won't be real dry. So that's what I'm doing here with all the veggies. And as you can see, this is a two 14.5 of the broth ounces. Let's get that pulled in now. Saturate everything. Okay. One ten and a half ounce of the cream of shrimp. Or you can use cream of mushroom, cream of celery, cream of chicken, whichever one. But because it's a seafood dressing, I'm going to use the cream of shrimp. It gives it more flavor, more creaminess, and all. Let me get me a butter knife because we want all that up out of there. And I mean, this is probably, it's um, not that pricey. It's about $3 a can. If you want to use two, you can. I just want to use one. Or you can also use a cream of celery and a cream of shrimp or whichever two you want to put together. And this is one of my sister dishes. She wanted me to come and make a meal. So she requested this. So that's why I'm doing this seafood spread. It's a little different than my country spread I did on my previous video. But hey, it's all good. We're just going to mix this and combine it real good. Ooh-wee! It smells good already and I ain't even got it in the oven. I ain't even got everything combined yet. Y'all is going to really love this dish. I know I do. And that's all we're doing, just mixing and stirring and combining all the ingredients. We're going to pop it in the oven, 350 degrees, for about 45 minutes. Yes. I'm going to add in my lump crab meat. Again, this is 20 ounces of crab meat. If y'all want to do something different the holidays around the corner, you want a different dressing instead of the old famous giblet, grape, uh, giblet dressing, you can do a seafood dressing. And again, I already sauteed these shrimp and some crab boil to give it some extra flavor. We put those in raw. They're going to cook. You don't want no overcooked shrimp. And it's just one bag. You can do two if you would like. But with all the crab meat, you don't need to uh, over put more shrimp in. And then we got the shrimp flavoring. And I'm going to add, it's a little thick for my liking. And this right here is, again, this is uh, eight ounce of the lobster. I usually like the fresh lobster, but that was a little pricey. So I just got that one little can. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Just fold everything in like so. My seasoning. Again, we got all Tony's. We're going to put, you season to your taste. Again, I can't tell you how to season your food. I can only advise you to um, season it to your taste. I just put about two tablespoons of this Tony seasoning in there. I'm going to put a dash of salt because you don't want to over salt it. So just a little salt. Got me some onion powder. About two tablespoons of onion powder. Same with the garlic powder and then black pepper as well. So again, I can only tell you how I, I mean show you. I don't measure everything like that. I know my taste buds and I know how I like my food. So you can do the same. 
just going to continue to mix this. To me, I need a little more liquid in here. Because to me, it's a little thick. And I don't want it to dry when I bake it. So, I'm going to add um, about a cup and a half of hot water to this. Two, two cups of water but you gradually just pour it in there and work it because you don't want to get it too loose but you don't want it to be too thick either because again you don't want it to dry out you want it to be good and flavorful and this smells so good you got a man at home that likes seafood make him the seafood dressing I guarantee baby <laughs> Hmm. And that's all you have to do. Or if you have another broth, I don't have another broth. You can put the broth in here, another can, another eight ounce can of broth. And then we're going to put it right back in the pan that I baked the cornbread in. I'm just going to add this. So that was two cups. And by me doing that, I'm going to add just a tad bit more of Tony's in here. About another tablespoon of Tony's. So I want mine to be oh flavorful. Yes. So we're going to put a little more of that in there. There we go. And that got a lot of flavor in it. That's just a Creole seasoning. But it's very good, especially with your seafood. So... This is how I want it. And then again, we're going to bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. And this is a wrap on this. Okay, I'm going to pour it in the pan. Get all your dripping and stuff out. Yes. I wish I was baking it at 400 degrees so I can represent my juvenile, baby. But of course, we're doing 350 degrees. And you just put it down in your pan. Now, if you got you some fresh parsley or parsley flakes or... um. Paprika you can put on top. That's that. And we'll put it in the oven and let it bake. Okay. And I'll be right back with you. The next dish we're going to prepare is the stuff salmon. You're going to love it. Now what we're going to do is prepare the stuffed salmon. And the ingredients that you're going to need is 24 ounces of spinach, fall and drained all the excess water off. Then we have two cups of mozzarella, one whole roasted red bell pepper, some bread crumbs, and of course the Tony seasoning, two eggs, we have 16 ounces of cream cheese and four tablespoons of mayo. To start this off, we're going to mash the uh, cream cheese and the mayo together and then add the eggs. This is your base for the stuffing that's going to go on top of the uh, salmon. So we're just going to mash that together, cream it, cream it together well, and the eggs. And again, that was four tablespoons of mayo, 16 ounces of cream cheese, and two eggs. Okay. 
cream it together like so now with this recipe you can always add crab meat to it shrimp bacon any type of meat that you like chicken <laughs> if you want chicken on top of salmon but preferably crab meat or shrimp will go great with this but because we have the seafood dressing i decided to not put the uh crab meat or the shrimp in it because we have all of that in the dressing so we're just going to get this together with this together real good and then we're going to fold in the rest of the ingredients this is so easy quick and simple this is a really a meal by itself on a batter rice if you would like but that's all I'm doing just whipping this together like so you know blend it together well you can do it with a mixer if you want to save time but I'd rather do it hand with a fork And then we're going to add the Tony seasoning, about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons, that's two tablespoons. So, I can eyeball, but you need to match. Okay, so we just about got this combined really well. Now, Going to combine the spinach, all the rest of the ingredients you just fold it on in. Mozzarella cheese, you can actually use whatever type of cheese you prefer. I went with the mozzarella, but you can do Gouda, you can do American cheddar, Jack, whatever. But I went with mozzarella, it tastes best to me. And your roasted bell peppers. That's just going to give it that extra oomph. <clears throat> and we just fold this in together. That's all we're doing. Quick, easy, and simple. I don't think my cameraman get in my face, y'all. And he knows that I have to be on camera. <laughs> this is cooking with tilt, boo. Not watching tilt stir. Come on, baby. Yes, well, I'm on point. I'm back, y'all. I'm back. Yes, I am. And I have a lot in store for you guys. I'm going to try to put up a video every week and get back on track. Yes. I'm going to do this by my fork. Oh, it looks so delicious. Baby, I'm going to throw down today. Who going to come throw down with me today? Who? Who is it? Okay. Now, what we're going to do, I got that combined very well. And what I have here is my salmon. And I got, I didn't get fresh salmon. I normally will get fresh salmon, but I was on a budget, y'all. Y'all know how that go. So, I went to Walmart, and I got the frozen bag of pink salmon and what i've done i've already pre-salted it and peppered it with black pepper and salt you just sprinkle that on there to your taste and liking and i put a little water in the bottom of my pan um to keep it from sticking and or over drying out okay so that's all you have to do with that and again i um have already salted it and put the black pepper onto it okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our filling and we're just going to pack it on top of the fish, on top of the salmon. And that's all we do now. If you want to get a thick cut from the grocery store and then gut the middle, you can stuff it in that way. Some people prefer it that way, but I'm okay with it being on top. I like to be on top. <laughs> get it? Got it. If you ain't got it, that was over your head. But let's get back to this cooking one. So we just want to get a great proportion on them. And 
and this is so quick and simple this is good for any type of event weddings parties i mean it just depends on how elegant or what type of food you want this would be a good dish for it and again this right here is a meal in itself only thing if you want it by by itself only thing you have to do put you on a pot of rice any type of rice pilaf yellow rice whatever bake this up and put it lay it right on top of a bed of rice the crew, your family will go wild I'm telling you. So this all we doing. I'm just trying to finish this up. <clears throat> and we're going to bake this as well at 350 degrees. Now the trick with the salmon, you don't want to cook it to over dry it out. So you only bake it for 18 to 20 minutes. That's all it needs. That's all it needs. I'm telling you. And you just put your nice proportion. Now if you don't want the layer, the filling as thick as I have mine, you can put it how you would like it. Like I said, I only give you the little justice. I can only show you a little bit, and then you tweak it, and you go from how you want to do it. You know? That's my thing. I can only show you the justice, the, the simple way to do it, and you go from there. But I'll never stir you wrong. Till but never stir you wrong. I told you that before. Y'all better listen to me. And I... Didn't even count how many pieces of this salmon I have on here. But as you can see, we had the right amount of mixture for it. One right here. Yes. Right on time. We're going to count this off, too. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pieces of fish. So, hey. And I cook big because I got a big family, y'all. So we like to eat. And they love my cooking. So I have to do what I have to do. Now... Just top it off. I just got some regular Italian breadcrumbs. You can get the plain ones or whatever. This just add the seed, extra little seasoning with the uh, Italian. And then we just sprinkle these right on top. That's all you do. Just sprinkle it on top. Some breadcrumbs. Or if you don't want breadcrumbs on it, you don't have to have it. But I like the, extra, the little crunch it gives. Oh, these are going to be wonderful. Wonderful. And this is, this is it, y'all. And again, we're going to bake this in the oven for 18 to 20 minutes. Please watch it. You don't want no dry salmon. That is not what's up. That's not what's up. So, we'll bake this uncovered for 18 to 20 minutes. And it's done. Ready to dig in, okay? And that's that. I'm going to put it in the oven. And the degrees again is 350 degrees, 18 or 20 minutes. And I'm going to set my timer for 18 minutes because I don't like no dry salmon. Hey, next I'm coming to you with some uh, sautéed green beans with garlic and bacon. I'll be right back with you. Okay, folks. Now what we're going to do is get ready to prepare the green beans, which is garlic, green beans with garlic and bacon and butter sauce. And basically what we got, I have about three pounds of fresh green beans that I've already cut the ends off rinsed off and let them dry. I'm cheating with my bacon today. What I did 
because I went and picked up the real bacon pieces and that's what I'm going to use. But if you want to use um, regular bacon, fry up your good six strips and dice them up, be fine. We have some minced garlic and a stick of butter. Okay. First, what we're going to do is go over here where I have my pot on the stove with boiling salt water. We're going to blanch these in the boiling salt water for about five minutes. Then we'll go from there. Okay, I've already got the water boiling here. Again, it's just regular boiling salt water. You're going to need enough water to cover the green beans. And we're just going to let these um, boil for five minutes, five to six minutes. That's it. And then we're going to drain them. And move forward. Put my lid on now. Five minutes. Camera man, let me know when it's five minutes up, okay? Meantime, I'm gonna get started with my butter sauce. That's the, the bacon and garlic sauce. Put the fire on medium heat. So we got a stick of butter, 2.5 ounces of bacon. Again, that's said that's about six strips of bacon if you use fresh bacon. So we're gonna put the stick of butter in here. We're just going to combine everything. We're going to use about two tablespoons, two or three tablespoons of the garlic. We're going to cook it down, cook it with the bacon and the butter. And the only seasoning you would need with this is a little salt and pepper. That's it. Salt and pepper. That's it. Because what we're going to do is blanch it again, green beans, for five minutes. Drain them. Combine the garlic, bacon, and butter sauce. And let it saute a little bit, maybe for about 10-15 minutes. And that's it. That's it. These green beans are so easy, but they're going to be so delicious. I guarantee it. I guarantee you're going to like the green beans. For sure. And again, we're going to do about three tablespoons of this garlic. We're going to let all this cook together. you do if you want to add onion you can but this is a bacon garlic butter sauce for the so but some people want onion you know but I just prefer the garlic and we're just gonna let that cook up fry that up right on another stick of butter because it didn't look like I had enough butter sauce and what we're doing is just simmering the bacon the butter and the garlic cooking it all together the aroma is off the chain it smells so good you know but now we're finna get ready I'm gonna check these green beans I blanched them it's been about five minutes on that so yeah it's been five minutes just let that simmer right there and what I'm gonna do Pour your water off your beans. You can saute them in a frying pan. I'm going to use this big pot because I got a lot of beans. I'm cooking. So, I'm just going to drain these off like this. Beans are going to be so good. Yes. And that's it. Toss them back in the pan. The pot pan, whatever you got. You 
Then we're going to saute it down with this uh, garlic bacon, garlic bacon butter sauce. Just pour it over in now, like so. That's all you do. I'm going to put it on low, medium low. We're just going to saute this together. Oh, yeah. We're going to let it saute for about 15 minutes. Depends on how, how much of a crunch you want on your green beans. Me, I want a little crunch, but not too much crunch, you know. I, don't, I want them to taste good, my done, you know. And the only seasoning we're going to add to this is a little salt and black pepper. That's it. A little bit of black pepper and I got the coarse black pepper so you don't need too much of it because you don't want it to be hot and a little bit of salt white salt that's it season to your taste and your liking and continue to toss them toss yes continue to toss This meal is coming together just fine, y'all. In a minute, I'm it's about that time. I have one minute, about a minute left. And we're going to take that uh, salmon out. See how you, we'll see what we're working with. Put my lid on here and let this marry together. Like I say, cleanliness is next to godliness. I have to clean as I go. So I have to wash my dishes as I go. As y'all know. <laughs> but hey, that lets you know you can come eat from me. This is cooking with tip. Yes, baby, I'm back. <laughs> well, I'm just having a great day. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. And I'm loving that y'all are subscribing and like my page too. My time is going off. That means the salmon is ready. It'll come out the oven, baby. Let me stop playing with this dish here and get it out the oven. Cause like I say, salmon is easily, it can easily dry out. So yeah, we don't want that to happen. Alrighty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And to me, actually, I'm going to give it another two more minutes. Because I said 18 to 20. So let's give it two more minutes. Uh-oh. Let's do our timer. Two more minutes. And then we'll take them out because it's still looking a little... It didn't got that crunch on top the way I want it. So you start off with the 18 minutes. If it don't got that good crust on it, how you want it to look, then do it, let it sit in there for another two minutes. It'll still come out juicy and perfect. Okay? Let that 
continue to saute. And we, we on the money. I mean, if a person don't walk away happy from this meal, something wrong with them. I'm telling you now, something wrong with them. I mean, who don't want seafood dressing, saute green beans with a bacon and garlic butter, and you got a stuffed salmon? And it's on the money. I'm telling you, feed it to your man, he ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. He ain't going nowhere. No. Mm -mm. You better follow cooking with tip. Your woman ain't going nowhere neither. Man, woman, anybody. So, it's been two minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove the salmon from the oven and let it rest. My green beans, I'm going to saute for another six minutes. And then by then, we'll have another ten minutes left on the dressing. Then we can eat, baby. It's on the money. Boom. Hey, y'all. We done. Here's the finale. I've got my seafood dressing, my green beans with bacon and garlic butter, and we have the stuffed salmon. I'm going to fix a plate so we can dive in. Mm, mm, good. I'm telling you, you would not go wrong. So let me get my plate right here. We're going to fix up a plate, y'all. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to get this cone over here, this dressing. Oh, yes. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Yes. It smells so good, y'all. Yes. Yes, indeed. Got these green beans going on over here. Y'all know bacon just make everything right. This bacon, garlic, green beans are the truth I'm telling you first time I made them I almost beat my fingers out and then we'll get a nice piece of salmon over here oh look at that cheese on that y'all look at that cheese but yes this is a nice meal. We have the seafood dressing, stuffed salmon, green beans with bacon, garlic, butter sauce. And baby, it's to die for. This has been Cooking with Tip. Y'all follow me, subscribe to me, tell everybody about me. Hell, come, come, come to dinner with me. Y'all have a good day. This is Cooking with Tip. Peace.